Commodore Kasar Gord Patnashetty Gopal Rao was born on 13th November 1926 at Madurai into a family of very eminent lawyers. His family was the largest Zamindar family in Kasargod and had their own private army to protect their vast land holdings. Tipu Sultan came to the area and destroyed and plundered between 1765 and 1718. Tipu Sultan tried to run over Kasargod too, but he was never able to because he was defeated from taking over Kasargod by his family's private army. His family always looked after the interests of the people of Kasargod and always helped them in times of need. As a tribute to defeating Tipu Sultan and in remembrance of protecting the people of Kasargod, the title of Kasargod Patnashetti was given to the family by the Wadaya Rajas of Mysore. In 1939, two British warships, HMS Repulse, and HMS Enterprise had docked in Madras for a few days on their way to Japan before the start of World War II. He visited these warships and was left fascinated and awestruck by them. At age 13, little did he know that one day he would be in a warship, commanding a victorious war operation and bringing great glory to the country. His interests ranged from photography astronomy, music, poetry, travel, and history. He was a very keen sportsman. He was an avid reader. In 1942, he had read one of Omar Khayyam's books and he knew it by heart. And even 78 years later, as recently as 2019, he recited the whole book by memory. He was a very engaging conversationalist with a superb sense of humor and a quick wit, and this stayed with him till the very end. His love for the ocean and his fascination with warships led him to join the Indian Navy in 1950. In an illustrious career in the Indian Navy, he was also awarded the Vishisht Seva Medal. On the night of December 4, 1971, Commodore K.P. Gopal Rao commanded Operation Trident which carried out an offensive attack on the port of Karachi. This is the most challenging and dangerous operation undertaken in the history of the Indian Navy. Three of Pakistan's biggest warships were sunk along with a merchant ship carrying ammunition supply to Karachi. The port of Karachi was bombarded and paralyzed. Oil installations at Karachi port were set on fire. The fire blazed on for many days. It is to mark this momentous victory that December 4th was chosen to be Navy Day and is celebrated on December 4th every year. He was awarded the first Mahavir Chakra of the Indian Navy. The Mahavir Chakra, MVC, is the second highest military decoration in India and is awarded for acts of conspicuous gallantry. Literally, Mahavir Chakra means Extraordinary Bravery Award. He displayed conspicuous gallantry and outstanding leadership. He was able to motivate his entire team to focus on the singular thought of winning the war and enjoying that victory forever. The year 2021 marks the golden jubilee of the historic victory of the Indian Armed Forces in the 1971 Indo-Pak War. This 50th anniversary is being celebrated year-long in the country as Swarnim Vijay Varsh. The victory flame, which travelled in four directions across the country, was lit by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the National War Memorial at New Delhi on December 16, 2020. In the last week of July 2021, Commodore K.P. Gopal Rao was felicitated and honoured at three separate functions. First, by the Honourable Governor of Tamil Nadu, Mr. Banwari Lal Purohit, by Rear Admiral Puneet Chadda, Flag Officer Commanding Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry, and then by our own Chief Minister Thiru M. K. Stalin. This great son of India and a real-life hero was laid to rest with full military honours on 9th August 2021 at Chennai. This was a befitting farewell to a brave man who helped keep the nation safe.
God Salame Tus May this fine officer and gentleman, Commodore KP Gopal Rao, MVC, BSM, continue to inspire generations to come. Jai Hind!